Hi, welcome to my Sri Lankan political show Behind the Scene. Before starting the show, I want to hit the like button and subscribe to my show. So today on the show, we're going to talk about what's wrong with Sri Lanka. Three things that's wrong in in Sri Lanka economically. What what's the reasons? Three issues. So let's get started. Now, the first issue, the first issue out of three of my issues. First, a cabinet with lack of experience in terms of actually handling an economy. That's a fact. Look at the cabinet. Do you see anyone with actual skills in the current government to run an economy? It doesn't. When you have lack of experience, what happens is that you technically screw things up. You make decisions be- to, to benefit you, and that means the people end up suffering for it. And that's the fact. And blaming this on the pandemic is not excuse anymore. That's a general fact. The pandemic COVID-19 is not responsible for the lack of experience and ability in the cabinet in Sri Lanka right now. That's one fact. Second fact. Second fact. Second fact is I think it's the it's the financial debt, it's the financial loans that we own to our allies China. This Sri Lankan government owns so much money for the Chinese government at this point. Every single time this country makes a profit, we spend that money to pay for loans. So then what money is left for development in the country? It doesn't. And then we blame things like on the pandemic and the things. The reality is this country has so many loans for foreign governments including China to pay that I might say this and with and with the lack of experience this government has there's no way we can recover from this until these loans are being paid and look at every every project you see in this country everything is built on a loan from China everything is a loan that's what these things are everything is the same fact that's the reality and that's this that's a fact China will be happy to give us loans and money of course they can get paid in another day and but we can't pay them because this country does not have the final capacity to pay this much of money in bank loans and i don't think the government understands what i'm going to say because they're not smart enough to understand that that's the reality now the third thing is having third thing lack of st- lack of stability in politics in this country we had two governments within actually 6 years if you think about it it should not be this way if a certain government comes into power and does the good things then the people should vote for that government but people in this country get distracted so quickly by the opposition's flashy rather rather glamorous election promises people end up giving votes away and as a result every single time when the economy gets stable down a new government comes in changes policies that's that's it is that's why political stability is essential to a country and i don't think sri lanka has that simple as that and if the if, the, if these three factors are not solved this country's issues are going to be lot deeper and lot worse and that's the reality so on that note i would on that note i'm going to end this video thank you very much for joining me on the show thank you very much